Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dave here with Gold Gamers, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Xbox One Fat Model console that's having video issues that's saying no signal. So let's go over to the upper cam and see what's going on. So today we have a Xbox One original model that is not showing any video. Now, um, I did already check the HDMI port. That's the first thing you should check. Let's make sure your pins aren't bent. Make sure there's nothing broken inside of your HDMI out port. Uh, with these fat model consoles, they don't have a retimer like how the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X models have. It goes straight to the south bridge. So typically, if it's not the HDMI port, there's usually going to be a couple things. I rarely see the EMI filters go out over top of the HDMI port. More than likely, it's either going to be a hard drive or an actual south bridge problem. But there's a couple ways to diagnose this at home without opening it up to see exactly what's going on with your console and see what we can be able to do with it and to see if we can come up with an easy fix. If it is the hard drive, I actually have a very easy solution for us today on this fat model console. But let's turn over to here. Let's see what's going on. So. And this thing is pretty dusty, so obviously we're going to need to clean it up. Um, I just turned it on. I'm over here on my game capture screen to see what we can see. And let's see, I'm going to bring up my upper cam so you guys can see that the console is turned on, has a white light. And we are at no signal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unplug it easiest way to diagnose this at home hold down your sync and eject button make sure there's no disc inside your game console so if you press your eject button the console won't turn on what you're going to do is you're going to hold down that sync eject button then you're just going to press the power button you're not going to hold down the power button you're just going to continuously hold that sync and eject button at the same time if it doesn't do any beeps and it just stays at this no signal screen nine times out of ten that's going to be your hard drive if it does, if you do hear beeps, if you hear the original power up noise and then you hear another power up noise and it doesn't show anything on the screen and it doesn't go into safe mode, then more than likely what is it what is going to be is either something which going on with your south bridge or EMI filters. But those are very, very real. I repair these things all day long and. To be honest, it's always a hard drive. So let's see what's going on. Um, I have the console completely off. As you can see on the upper cam, I'm going to take this hand, obviously, right here. I have it. I have one finger on the sync button, one finger on the eject button, and I'm just tapped. All right, let me redo that so you guys can see better. So sync, eject is held down, power button is pressed. And I am only holding down the sync and eject. You do not need to hold down that power button at all because it will turn itself back off. Usually you're supposed to hear it within five to six seconds. Obviously we can't hear anything, meaning that it is the hard drive. Now I have a simple solution on a hard drive with this console today. Um, if you actually have another console, if you have a donor console at home or wherever the case may be, or you just have another Xbox. Um, if you guys watched my previous video where I replaced a hard drive inside of the Xbox One X, all Xbox Ones have the same deal where you could take a regular standard 2.5 hard drive and you got to do all this script work in, in command prompt. And you have to go in, you have to install these offline update OSU1 files onto the hard drive, or you have to put your boot animations on there. It's a lot of legwork that you have to do for it. Now, if you have another Xbox One inside your house that's actually working, there's an easy solution. There's a way to be able to actually just take that Xbox One hard drive out of there and put it in there. Now, if you just take it out and you put swap it out, it won't work. But there's another step to it. So let's get this down to the motherboard and I'll show you guys how to be able to simply fix this at home. Or if not, you can bring it into us and we can repair it for you. All right, so got it cleaned up, which took quite a bit of time. I actually had to put on this face mask because of all the dust coming off this console. Got my Western Digital um, Scorpio Blue hard drive right here. I just grabbed it. The old hard drive, I completely threw it away. 
and I'm actually gonna run this down so this was already taken out of a console so anytime I have donor consoles I automatically obviously take out the hard drive because that's the easiest thing to grab hard drives disk drives just so you guys can see the old hard drive was a Samsung so you guys can know I am actually swapping out this hard drive this is not a game so um get these little couple things out of here and yeah now i just plug in the sata cord plug in your power cord and that's it um for that step now we're going to go on ahead and take a flash drive now with this flash drive what you want to do is you want to go over to your computer um, format a flash drive over to NTFS. When you format that flash drive to NTFS, then what you will want to do is you will want to download the Xbox offline system update file. And there's a simple way to do that, and I'll show you guys how to complete that step because it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy. So what I'll do is I'll actually pop in my flash drive. All right, as you can see, so we have Google Chrome up right here. All we're going to do is type in Xbox One Offline Update. Obviously, with some space in there, but I miss it, but it is what it is. You're going to, um, and I'm actually going to correct that just to make sure we get the correct search results. You're going to scroll down. You're going to click on Update the Console Xbox Support. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on perform an offline system update. After you click that, you're going to want to just go over. It doesn't even matter if you click on original Xbox console only or all other game consoles. Literally, all we're doing is just downloading the OSU1 file. All the other steps, we can we don't care about that. Download the click download the OSU1 file and then download the OSU1 file. And once you download that, you're going to want to extract it. And what you're going to do with that extracted folder is you're going to put that extracted folder in your flash drive, as you saw earlier in that video. And we're going to pop it straight into our console. And let's go back over here to our upper cam so we can move on to the next step. All right. So we're going to switch over to our game capture screen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put it in safe mode. So we're going to do the steps that we, I told you guys earlier. Hold down the sync button. Hold down the eject button and then press the power button while continuing to hold down the sync and eject button, but let go of the power button. So let's see how it does this time. Sync button held down, eject button held down, press the power button. Now, obviously, I won't hear the next power up tunes because I don't have my Xbox One fat speaker hooked in. But as you can see, it is going into preparing console and it's updating. So that is it. That is how you can replace an Xbox One hard drive without needing to do all the script work and everything if you just take a Xbox hard drive that was already in another system. That is the easiest and best method to get this done. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with doing this, you can obviously have us do it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna allow this update to complete so we can go from there and see how this update works out for us. All right, so we are at the main screen. We got the brand new hard drive in there. Um, well, not brand new, but the swapped out hard drive from the other Xbox, and it is working perfect. Now we're back at the initialized screen where all we would have to do is just set up the connections, um, get everything back up to the home screen, and everything will be good to go. So hopefully this video helped you guys out a lot and can help you with some of the repairs that you're going on at home. And especially if you want to move past all the script work and everything that you would usually have to do on your computer with a brand new 2.5 hard drive. If this video did help you a lot, just make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more help tips like this. And if you have any questions for me down in the comments, please go on ahead and let me know. And besides that, hope to see you guys on our next video and you have a good day.